Hey everyone, uh, Barry with Christensen Transportation. Um, you know, sometimes uh, we do these little videos or voice cutout segments for the radio show uh, based on some industry topic or news and we try to keep people informed. Sometimes it's based on stuff that the safety department wants to get out, you know, our CSA scores and where we need to improve or what we're doing well on or whatever it may, whatever the topic is, some of them are generated. Some of them are generated by other drivers and say, hey, Barry, you need to talk about this, this and this, or, or here's an issue that we're seeing. Well, today's topic is an issue brought to me by the drivers and that issue is leaving problems generated during a certain driver's ownership of that piece of equipment that they didn't take care of. Um, the biggest thing is is, is trailers. Um, you know, if you've got a flat tire, if you've got a mud flap that needs replaced, if you've got a light that doesn't work, um, an air leak, whatever it is, um, and it, it, it happened while you were pulling that trailer, um, don't leave it for the next driver. You know, I had a driver the other day that had a uh, needed a tire change. Well, the driver had been with that trailer for two days, and it happened during during their 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 ownership of that equipment, their borrowing of that equipment. But they said, "Oh, it was going to take six hours at the truck stop to get it fixed," and I didn't I didn't have time for that, so I dropped it. Well, who's going to fix it? It's the next person, and you know I have found over the years that the person that's so short on time, so eager to move on and leave that problem for the next driver is the absolute number one person to call me and bitch about the person that left it to them. So, you know, growing up, I'm sure everybody's heard it. It's, it's common courtesy. And my mother used to say, along with everybody else's, do unto others the way you would have done to you. Don't leave a problem for somebody else because if somebody else left that problem for you, you would have an issue with it. And it's completely justified and understandable. So, you know, stuff happens. Uh, it's unfortunate, um, but it's just a part of hauling equipment down the road for millions of miles. Stuff, stuff happens. It gets bounced in you know, weather conditions, whatever created it. Um, we didn't ask for it, but it happens. So it's, it's not fair. Um, that you leave that to somebody else and somehow justify that behavior. Uh, so uh, be courteous. Every time that happens, think to yourself, okay, I'm attempting to leave this issue for the next person. Wouldn't I be mad if that person left it for me? Yes, you would. So, you know, it's just part of life. So, we, you know, it happens to everybody. It's part of the business. Do your share, take care of the problem let the next guy pick up his load and not have to go sit and be late because of something that they didn't generate. So, uh, I don't know what to call it. Uh, I'm going to call it my do unto others segment uh, and, and be courteous and uh, to your peers and, and, and uh, treat them right. So I'm sure you'll do it. Thanks for being at Christensen. Um, where the trucker's truck and safety takes priority. And, you know, just like this video is generated by somebody else's input. So if you've got stuff that good or bad that you want to promote or have me promote, um, call me, email me, text me, uh, tell your fleet manager, whoever, um, and we'll make it happen. Uh, because uh, the whole idea is to improve and make life better. So uh, thanks and uh, be safe.